First thing in the morning, just outside Los Angeles, we find pit crews tinkering, tuning and making last-minute preparations to their cutting-edge racing machines. In the last 12 months, the popularity of drones, UAVs, quadcopters, whatever you want to call them, has absolutely exploded. And it was only a matter of time before intrepid pilots came up with new uses for their aircraft. Welcome to Aerial Grand Prix. The Aerial GP is an opportunity for drone enthusiasts to show off their skill by piloting ultra lightweight racing quadcopters across specially arranged racing circuits. The drones are fitted with cameras with pilots using point of view goggles or monitors to see where they're going. They have to complete several circuits of this course while flying through the obstacles spread around it. What could be simpler? Well, try flying a few feet from the ground at 60 miles an hour. I first flew the GGI Phantom and I quickly discovered that you actually need some skill to fly these UAVs. And we thought, why not create this arena, this aerial Grand Prix, which is this racing league where people can race these and be safe about it, but push the technology to the extreme. So just like the days of the hot rods where people tinkered with them, this is very much the same thing, where these kits come with in carbon fiber uh, arms and bodies and people put their own components. And that's very much part of the culture. It's very much a part of the racing. Every pilot here has built their own DIY quadcopter. They're durable, so they're, when you crash it, they're, they're repairable. Crash it. They're repairable, it's easy to get parts, yep. they're a lot of fun to fly, and they're easy to fly. Oh, because you can mount cameras on them as well. They shoot, you know, 1080p, 60 yeah. frames a second, you know, nice video, so that has also yeah, that totally is, revolutionized yeah. the hobby. Most people get into RC because they want to be a pilot or, you know, they aspire to be a race car driver. The next thing you know, you go from hovering around and learning how to fly to flying Top Gun in between trees at your house. <laughs> exactly. As the morning progresses, the racing gets going in earnest. Drone facing off against drone. To get a sense of what it's like to race flat out, I pulled up a deck chair with the fastest flying pilot on the flight line. So, Carlos, I saw you flying earlier and you are really, really very fast indeed. Now, the first person view strikes me as being Apart from being incredibly immersive, it does also strike me as being a little bit difficult as well. Yeah, I think when, when people watch these kind of videos online, they always get this like idea like, oh, it looks so easy and so like, but it takes a little bit of training and practice because wearing the glasses you, is like a readjustment because you have to, it's, it's kind of hard to know how high you are from the ground. There's a lot of adrenaline going when you're inside the craft. It's like, it's basically like flying, you know? Are you going to demonstrate for me now yeah. um, what it's like with the first person goggles or what you can see when you're actually racing? You put them on. Yeah. So you, you can see, right? Yeah, 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 I can see, I can see. This strikes me that this is going to be, oh my word, really, really difficult to fly wearing these at first. Yeah, you got to get used to it, you know? Because it's, it's kind of like a video game. It's got that kind of quality to it. I mean, it's all, but he's all getting used to it. Yeah. You know? and it, it, it sort of, it's taken me out of myself. And I have a lot of power. I mean, this thing will, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Up. I mean, you can get some altitude quite quickly on it. Yeah. And, I, and as I mentioned before, like now I'm not used to flying looking at it, you know. Yeah. I'm so used to using the glasses. So when you're flying and you get used to it, it's just like a bird. I man. can see how when you said, you know, it's very, very adrenaline fueled when oh, you're racing. Yeah. This, especially with the speed, this level of immersion, and the speed of the aircraft really, yeah. really would sort of get the heart racing. The day's racing draws to a close. Drones have been damaged. Skills have been honed and victorious racers receive applause from their piloting peers. The Aerial GP's organisers have plans to take their drone races international. Robotic airborne races look like they're here to stay. <laughs>